You know how some of you say you have to psych yourself up to do some of these workouts? Start psyching. Like I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Start psyching yourself up. Like right now. Come on, let's do it. Tracy of Move Daily Fitness. In today's workout, we're doing a 60 minute total body hit with dumbbells, okay? So grab a variety of dumbbells. I'm gonna use quite a few lighter ones because this is gonna be fast moving. Now HIT stands for high intensity interval training. Okay, so we are gonna do intervals of 45 seconds. I'll give you 15 seconds in between. I'm gonna give you a segment of six different exercises. One cardio, one weight, one cardio, one weight, one cardio, one weight. We're gonna repeat it three times, then we'll take a break. But if after each round you need a break, just pause the video, that's not a problem. All right, so we're gonna get the heart rate up, bring it down, get it up, bring it down, all right? So make sure that you have your water handy or your BCAAs, a towel, and we're getting started with the warm up. But hey, if you've already done your own warm up, go ahead and jump to the number at the bottom of the screen and you can get started right away. Okay, let's do it. Let's start with a little warm up, a few side lunges. We are doing quite a few lunges today, so. This area here usually gets pulled if you haven't done side lunges in a while. So let's go ahead and make sure that we're doing a nice, good stretch in those areas, okay? I'm gonna get lower and lower as I keep going here. Just gently initially, but I really do wanna lengthen through there. So once I put weights on that area, it's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt. No injuries, no thank you. Okay, excellent. Now let's take it and turn it into a lunge where we're gonna stretch the hip flexors out a little bit, full rotation all the way down. Open up into those hip flexors. Getting the glutes a little warm here. Okay, good job. So is it still freezing cold where you live? No, because some of you live in Australia. You are lucky little people right now. <laughs> we're still in our uh, polar vortex although not quite as polar-ish. Um, it's warmed up slightly, enough to snow a lot. So I know down in Vancouver, which is close to where I live, it's now full, full on snow, snow fest down there. Let's get down here, hands on the feet. You're gonna stand and squat. Just get those hamstrings warmed up here. This one burns, like burns, burns, right in the hamstrings and quads for sure. Yeah, anyway, well, I guess it can't last forever, so spring is around the corner. A couple months from now, and we'll be complaining of the heat, right? All right, three more here. That's it. Don't lock your knees totally out when you're standing. Keep them just a little bit soft. All right, and round up through the back. Good, let's hit a few jumping jacks right here. We'll just get the heart warmed up a little bit here, get some blood flow going. It's later in the afternoon right now as I'm exercising. Not ideal for me, but um, I was busy this morning and now I've just had some computer issues. It's so full of video segments <laughs> that it just legs it down. It's so slow and so annoying to do anything, so I had to get that fixed this morning. All right, five more here, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's just go into a wide squat, a uh, plie squat, stretch through the chest here. We're not gonna repeat any of this, we'll just do this through once, because that's a lot of cardio and legs, but we'll start, um, yeah, a little bit lighter with your weights if you want, and then in the following circuits, you can go a little heavier, once you're all fully warmed. One more right here. Good, and let's just take a feet shoulder width apart. And I want you to stretch overhead here. There you go. Whew. I'm out of breath already, so it's working. <clears throat> Good. Five more. And four. Three. Two, big stretch, and one. All right, good. 
Have your dumbbells handy. Make sure that your water's handy and then we're gonna start it. All right, I want you to grab your eights. You're gonna do a front lunge with a bicep curl right there. Okay, front lunge, bicep. And then we're gonna go into a suitcase squat right in the center. All right, ready and go. Front lunge, bicep. Other side, bicep. Suitcase squat right here. Good. Let's go. Push through the heel to come back up. Nice low squat. So again, you've got a compound exercise with weights and a cardio and a weight exercise, cardio up to six and then repeating three times. Then we'll move on to a different circuit, okay? So, good progressive overload. Lots of time on specific muscles. Should be good. All right, butt kicks are coming up. Set your weights down. Squat. Okay. Butt kicks, get ready. In three, two, and kick that butt. Let's go. Starting off with some easier cardio. Hence the butt kicks. Modify like this with no impact, okay? If an injury, you just can't do as much high intensity anymore, feel free to bring that down. All right, let's pick up the pace. Come on, just like that. So, you've got a heavy dumbbell squat, single side shoulder press next. I'm gonna grab my 15 just for round one. But I'm gonna kick it up as we go into rounds two and three. Let's go, let's go. All right, so 15 pounds, squat, single side press. So feet are shoulder width apart, you're down, throwing it up, okay? I'll call halfway, ready? Let's do it. Low, boom, that's it. High knees is your next cardio. Good job. Really push as evenly as possible. All right, switch hands through the legs, even though you're weighted on that one side. Your body might want to turn. Stay straight. Up. So definitely be heavier, obviously, with the 20, but better challenge for me anyway. All right, high knees coming up. This is the 15 seconds to bring the heart rate down slightly. Get your breath, and then kick it up for 45 seconds. Let's do it. Right here, let's go. High knees here to modify for low impact. Better hope you have a good sports bra on, girls. Hey, <laughs> I have had clients like <laughs> hold their chest and run. This one's a good one. Actually, my only sports bra that I buy is the Energy Bra from Lululemon. It's it's the best for me. Like nothing moves. I don't slip it over my head to get it on. I pull it up over my hips. That's the key to not wrecking your shoulders. Up, up, let's go. Time. Okay, lateral lunge, lateral raise. I'll call halfway. Start together. You're gonna lunge low. Pop that up to 90 degrees. Ready? And start. Low. This is where that stretching would have come in handy. Good. You can go a little lighter to start. But this feels good for me. You're using a little momentum to propel that weight up as we pull back out of the lunge. All right, switch sides, step this way, and lunge low. That's it. Squat jumps is your final little cardio move here. And then we're repeating two rounds, okay? Well, two more times. 
Reach your hips back. That's it. Nice. Now I'm bypass. Okay, squat jumps. Get your shoulder width apart. Squat to modify with no jump. Just like that. Otherwise, give me a little jump. Ready? There you are. <clears throat> this one's always killer. Anything over 30 seconds for me is death by jumping on this. It just burns. I... You can shake it out if you need. Get low, come on. That's right. You're over halfway. Can we go the whole way without stopping around one? I feel like we can. Stick with me, okay? Five seconds. Oh, I didn't like that. Okay, good. Front lunge, bicep curl. Front lunge, suitcase squat. Got my 15s, round two. All right, let's go. Front lunge to bicep. Front lunge to bicep, suitcase, squat. Really drop that back knee low as you can. up from the squat jump still. Butt kicks is a nice one, bring it down slightly. Ready? Let's go. Not too hard. You're halfway, keep it going. A little faster now. Come on. Three, two, one, yes. You, okay. Squat, single side press. I'm gonna grab my 20. Went in Rome. We're not in Rome, Tracy. Went in Kelowna, BC. Here we go. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. What's wrong with that? Feels good. I'll give her a few more on this side. Hand is out for counterbalance. Now you're switching. Let's go. That felt great. Up. Hips reach back. Power up. Last one there. Nice. Okay, high knees. Are you fun so far? I know. It's fun, right? Okay, in three, two, let's go. Right here. Sometimes it is fun. And when I say in the video that it's fun, I'm not even faking it. I'm actually going, okay, however this feels in my body right now is boom, exactly what I needed it to be. Get those knees up. Sometimes it's hard for me to rally at this time of day. It's like two o'clock. It's horrible. But my body must have known I needed this, so 
Let's go, let's go. Five seconds. Come on. Yeah, good. Okay. Lateral lunge. Lateral raise. It's 15 seconds in between legs too, isn't it? I'm talking a lot, aren't I? Ready? Lateral lunge. Let's go. Reach your hips back. One more this side. All right, switch. Here we go. Yes, it is. It's your favorite. I already know that. That's why I'm doing them. Not for me, it's for you. Ready? Let's go. Up. Let's go to your happy place here, okay? hard to follow the squat jumps with this. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Woo, you done though? That kicks. Okay. It's good. Ready? Let's go. So one of our subscribers, Lauren A. Lauren. She just messaged me and said she tried a workout again for the second time. She made a promise to herself that she'd come back in a month to see if she'd improved. She's like, those still look bloody hard. <laughs> but in fact, she said she thought it was the hardest workout on this channel. I think that thousand rep challenge was the hardest for me. But if I remember, I'll link I'll link it at the end, the one that she's referring to. It was a 15 minute cardio and weight. Kind of like this next workout. But anyway, time, she, she's improved. Like, she's tracking her progress. She's improving, getting stronger, lifting heavier weights. That's a great way to do it. You want to improve. How do you even know if you've improved unless you're tracking something? Ready? Squat press. I thought that was a really smart idea of her. I know Carla H, H from this channel as well, always tells me what dumbbells she uses, what weights in the workouts. So then she could see if she ever went, switch sides to do the workout again, she would know, you know what she used and she could try a little heavier if she felt she was stronger. Good idea, ladies. It's the way to move daily. 
This side's harder. All right, there you go. Nice. High knees. Whew. I like this format. This is good for me. Cardio weight, cardio weight. Ready and go. Please let me know in the comments below what you think about this format too. Helps me to know what to make more of. Come on, get those knees up. It's hard, isn't it? Halfway. Almost there. Okay. Come on, Nelly. Lateral lunge. Whew. I'm looking forward to a sip of water. <clears throat> Almost done. Two more exercises. Ready? This way. Let's go. Reach your hips back. Come on. Last one on this side. Oh, yeah, good. All right, switch. Three, two, last one there. You. Okay, squat jumps. Then you get your well-deserved break. I want you to pause the video, bring that heart rate down a bit, and then we'll do circuit two, okay? Ready? Let's go. Halfway. <clears throat> Are you gonna push it to the end with no breaks? Okay, I'll try to. Burning though. 10 seconds. Oh, that's killer. Come on, push. Three, two, oh, Nelly. Okay, pause, grab some water, join me back. I'd like to say this next round is going to get easier. I'm afraid I can't say that, <laughs> so I won't. You're starting with a lighter dumbbell, maybe an 8, 10, 5. Squat, front raise, right like that, okay? Ready. Let's do it. So feet are shoulder width apart. You're coming up to front raise. Now, this is actually pretty light. What was I thinking? I could do the 15. I'm going to switch next round. But it's always good to sort of test with the lighter weight, see where you're at. So always go heavier. Uh, you don't want to injure yourself. So this can also be done with a kettlebell. I have done this exercise with a kettlebell before. So if you have one, feel free. Shoulders back and pop it up. That's it. Last five seconds here. A little shoulder burn though with the eight. I'm not gonna lie about that. All right, sprawly frog kick, my favorite. To modify, you're down on the ground. Tap, tap, walk, walk, stand. Otherwise, we're gonna jump that out. Ready? Three, two, here we go. So you're down, knee to elbow, stand, no jump at the top. Back, up, and up. Woo, see, it's fun, right? This part right there is kind of fun. It's like, what do we do with our legs? And in your frog. I clearly drank too much coffee this morning. Woo! 
I like it though. Okay, that's it. Deadlift to lateral raise. What can you lateral raise? I'm gonna grab my eights here. I'm gonna hinge at the waist. I'm gonna stand, tighten my core, pop it to the sides. Ready? Hinge, hinge, stand, tight, up. Okay? Low, and boom. Side view here. Low, reach back, 90 degrees. Good, halfway. Hinge, and really pretty easy for the hamstrings. Focus on the weight for your lateral raise. Last one. Nice. All right, set those weights down. You're going into what's called a double foot mountain climber. So you're down to modify walking in, in, back, back. Otherwise, we're jumping in and back. This is hard. Ready? Let's go. In and back. Little jumps. Bum stays down if you can so that you're hovering over the ground. I don't love this one, but halfway there. Can't love them all. Okay, let's go. I'll call halfway. Don't over rotate. This can be done from the knees to modify. Switch sides. forward so you don't get dizzy here. Get low. Nervous about my daughter driving in this. 
She just has her learner's license, so she drives every day though, since May, so she'll get her actual license in May. Coming up, time. She's ready, but it always makes you nervous, you know? Sprawl and frog kick. You ready? <clears throat> ready and work. I come up with wide legs, so it makes standing pretty easy. Don't want to round the back too much. Okay. Shoulders back, hinge at the waist. Lift as evenly as possible. Straight arms if you can. Halfway. Got that double foot mountain climber next. Nice. That was fun. Okay, double foot mountain climber. Then your renegade row to rotation down there as well. Okay, so we stay down for a bit. Ready? Let's go. In and out. with a squat 180 turn squat. Go. Land light like you're landing on egg cartons. Don't pound down. Halfway. Oh, 
Oh, holy. Last one. Oh, that's hard. Okay, round three. <laughs> Sticking with my lighter weight here. I think I just have to. Ready? Go. <clears throat> Remember, if you need more of a break, just pause that video. This is our last round here. And catch your breath. Fifteen seconds. Sit way back in your heels here. Great. Sprawling frog. You're ready. In four, three, two, here we go. Remember when I all loved this? few minutes ago. Yeah, I don't remember that either. Deadlift lateral. In three. Shoulders back. Here we go. Make sure you're challenging your medial delts here. Hamstrings aren't getting much if you're lifting in your delt range. Halfway. Last one here. Good. All right. Let's do that double foot mountain climber. Climb some mountains. Okay, get low. Ready? And jump it in and out. Don't arch your back when you're out. Keep it tight. 20 seconds. Getting hard, keep going. Oh, Nelly. Oh, brutal. Okay, what's next? Renegade row, rotation. In three, two, and start. Last one this side. And switch. Nice. Okay. So 
the borders. And then your break, okay? Huh. Ready? Here we go. A couple of people asked me if I could put like a timer on the bottom of the video. Believe me, I've tried. I hired one guy to do it for me, and I asked for it to be royalty free, and then he slapped me with a copyright claim after I posted it, so uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know who to go to to make that. So if you know, let me know in the comments below. If you're like, I'm a designer, I work out and I make countdown timers. <laughs> Is that you? Help me, help me. I want one. Oh. I just want to be able to monetize my video so I can make $4 a day. <laughs> okay, good. Take a break. Join me back for circuit three. You should be sufficiently sweaty at this point. Starting with a goblet squat, roundhouse to side kick. You're here, up and over, here, this leg kicks, okay? It's tricky, <laughs> let's try it. Ready, holding a 15, squat, roundhouse, squat, side kick. Same side, I'll call halfway. Squat and kick, that's it. Low, up and over, low and kick, boom. Okay, pretend you're kicking a bad guy. And like that. Okay, switch sides, up and over, squat, and one side will feel more awkward. That's this side for me. And boom, low, up and over, low, and Do I have to make that sound every time? <laughs> Kapow, I don't know. It just feels like I have to. Sorry. Last one here. All right, Woo. moving to a one, two, three hop, okay? So one, two, three, one, two, three. Modify, just take the jump out. Ready? Three, two, get low. One, two, three, ba, ba, ba. That's it. Squat halo is coming up next. So we're gonna take a dumbbell Wrap it around the circumference of your head and uh, squat at the same time. Well, not the same time, but 15 seconds. Stay low, come on, boom. One, two, three, let's go. Heart rate needs to climb here. This is the hip part. Three, two, one. Uh, okay, squat, halo, hold it here, squat, then you're going to come up, halo the head, working shoulders, low, up and over, oh, hat is not easy, I'm knocking my hat, switch directions, Right around the head, you want to work those shoulders as that weight goes back. I'm going to up my weight next round. Last five seconds. Okay, we got jumping jack high knee. Next, okay, so up here, here, modify right there, okay? Ready, let's go, here, here. That's it. You got a move called the Monica coming up next. I've done it in previous videos. I'll quickly show you right in the break. It's a squat deadlift combo. I learned it from a fitness pro named Monica Brett years ago. 
I didn't know it was called. I called it the Monica. Let's go. I think Jennifer, one of my subscribers, loves that move. If I remember the name right. Okay. Whew. Grab the 15. Heavier weight. So your squat. Shoulders back, you squat, bring the weight in front, butt up, then stand. Ready? So squat like a suitcase, turn it in front, then stand. Here's a side view. Squat, butt up, like a bend and snap. For three, Reese Witherspoon. Up and up. See how flat my back is? Right here. It's just butt up in the air, girls and boys. And up. Predator Jacks is next. Good. Okay. I'm getting to a low squat jack. Clapping the hands together. Ready? And low together. video and figure it out so we'll get them all done not to worry here we go so if you're like no that's not next that's okay I know I just can't remember off the top of my head because I had two never mind it's just we're gonna get them all done it's okay okay <laughs> up and kick low up and over all right switch sides Woo, big roundhouse and kick Last one here, and up. Okay, we're moving to that one, two, three, hop. <sighs> See, that probably wasn't right, was it? That's all right. I got it now, though. I do, I promise. Get low. One, two, three, ready, and make this quick. Ba, ba, ba. Let's go. This is your chance. Get that heart rate up. Blast some body fat, okay? Boots are feeling this. Halfway, come on. Whew, it's hard. I'm gonna do the Monica next. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, hard. Okay, grab your weights, heavier. 15s I've got. Ready? Squat to deadlift. Hinge, tight tummy to stand. Back. 
squeeze the glutes at the top. Shoulders back. Last squat here. Ooh, yeah, good. All right, let's move into that jumping jack high knee. Feeling good. Ready? And here we go. Up, up. We didn't have to psych ourselves too much up for this, did we? It's not like that thousand rep challenge. I'm actually gonna link that at the end. I'm trying to remember, Tracy. That one was so hard for me. And I don't know, was I under the weather? Was it the hardest workout I've ever done on here? I would love for you to try it and let me know in the comments where you would rate it on a scale of one to 10. This one's like eight for me in parts. I feel like the weight part brings the heart rate down a bit. So I like it, but still working muscles. All right, Nelly, okay, squat halo. I'm gonna try my 15 on this guy. <clears throat> Ready? Here we go. Low, up and over. A nice flat weight plate would work nicely here. Sure you have a good hold of your dumbbell, please. Not really the conventional way to hold it, so and make sure you got a good grip. Ten seconds. Predators next. Last one. Okay, come on Jack. Ready? And start. That's hard for me. Halfway. Oh goodness. Ten seconds. Come on. Push now. Get low. Three, two, one. Okay, one more round. Oh, goodness. Let's go to that goblet roundhouse. Crazy kick. Okay. Pause if you need, okay? Here we go. Up and over. Last one this side. Switch sides. This side feels so much more natural. Hopefully, if I ever meet a predator in alley, he's coming on that side. Thank God. Okay. One, two, three, hop. Heart rate should be up now, yeah? Get close to done, in like five minutes. Ready? Let's go. Stay low on this guy, come on. Push hard now. That's right. I'm slowing down. Pick it up, pick it up. Okay. 
Keep your back flat. Stick your chest out. Work hard now, come on. Three, two, one. Oh, I don't like it. The Monica, come on. If you need Monica especially, this is your exercise. Monica, from my program Monica. Here we go. Monica <laughs> is part of our six week accountability program. I'm just gonna give a shout out to that girl. I'll tell ya, if you want results in your life, if you wanna change, consistency is the key, and bar none, this woman has gotten her food log to me without fail for the past six weeks, every single day, on time, She's exercising exactly when I tell her to, doing the workouts I tell her to. She's sending me her photos, and wow, she is changing the body. It's amazing how much progress she's made in six weeks. I can't wait to see the sort of before and after. And here we go, she's not done. She's like, this is how I feel the best. Right? This is how I want my life to be. I want to be a fit person. So, people like us do things like this. If you want to be fit, do what fit people do. They move daily in their fitness, wellness, nutrition. And I gotta tell ya, Monica and the other women in the program too are prime examples of that. I'll shout the other ones out in the videos coming up, but just Want to highlight Monica and say, job well done, and I dedicate that last exercise to you, girl. <laughs> you. Okay, no more talking. What's next? Squat halo. We got two more, you guys. That's like a minute and a half work. Ready? We can do this. Here we go. Low, up and over. Halfway. Watch the shoulders, especially if you're lifting heavy. Don't go back too far. You gotta be able to get it all the way around without tweaking anything, right? Last one here. Okay. Last exercise. You. If you want, if you can, grab a five pound dumbbell. We're gonna front press with the predator jack. I know, it's crazy. I'm gonna do it though, I dare ya. Ready? Here we go, low, press, low. That's it. It's only 45 seconds, guys. Now it's only 35. We can do it. Tell yourself you can. Come on, push. Modify if you must. Don't stop though. What do you got left for 10 seconds? Come on, push. Three, two, one. Ah. Oh. Yes, you in your cardio hit with weights, moved daily. Boom. You. That was a great workout. Good job, everyone. Join me for stretching here if you can. Let's grab the shoelaces, bring the knee together, push that hip forward, stretching through that quad. Wow. I actually love that format again. Um, the cardio weight, cardio weight, that is good for me. The cardio, 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 I wanna die and puke. But this one, switch sides. Let's me bring my heart rate down slightly, but I'm feeling like completely sweaty, so 
uh, and heart rate was up, did some weights, mm, definitely going to do something like that again. Can you let me know in the comments below if you like that style? Um, that helps me when I hear your feedback because then I know what to do more of. Okay, let's do a little side lunge here. Get low, oh goodness, yeah, just hold that down here. Heel is on the ground, toe is up, stretching through that adductor muscle in there. Oh, heart rate's still coming down. Maybe jumping in the shower after this. Switch sides, and here we go. Whoo, good, good, good. All right, that was fun. Um, a few more strength workouts are gonna be coming up, though, too. Cardio is good and important. Let's come down to the center. Try to bring those elbows down to the ground. And I'm just rotating, kind of pushing my hips back side to side. And again, stretching in my inner thigh, lower back, and getting as low as I can. Um, anyway, yes, more strength. Because in my mind, I mean, the more lean muscle tissue you have, the more fat your body burns at rest. Come to standing, roll those wrists. Walk your feet in slightly, just slightly. Let's come up to the side, stretch, push that thumb to the ceiling. Um, so that's how I like to sculpt my body. I want it to, I don't want to just be like lean with no muscle. I want someone to look at me and say, whoa, she works out. Yes, please, switch sides. So if I want my arms to pop or my back to pop or my legs to pop, that needs to happen. And that I need to eat really healthy in good moderation. Uh, practicing that 80-20 principle or that 90-10 principle, which basically says for, let's sit into a glute stretch right here, hold on to something if you need. 80% of the time or 90% if you're wanting to clean it up even more, you're making healthy choices, good macronutrient balance, healthy foods, and then 10 to 20% of the time you can have your treats like on a weekend. But you also don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater. I heard a really good little illustration the other day, switch legs here. Because sometimes we do this, right? We'll have a cookie and we're like, oh great, I just had a cookie. I just want, I get to finish the whole bag. And we, we throw the baby out with the bathwater. But if you had one flat tire, would you take a knife and pop the other three? Hmm, great. No, you wouldn't is the answer to that. Let's round through the back. Stretch. So. So changing your thinking to say, you know what? Yeah, I had a cookie. Whatever, that's fine. Don't throw the baby out with the bath water and just, you know, wreck the whole, everything that you've done during the day that was good. Hands behind the back, stretch, and tilt your neck to one side. Okay, really have this mindset that it's okay, you know, once in a while to have that treat and to make a choice to have it. Everything comes down to choices. Like wherever you are in your life, where your body is right today, those were, that's a derivative of every choice that you've made leading up to it. So, ergo, every choice that you make from here on in can shift and change what your body looks like and how you feel and the energy that you have, bring the arm across. So, every day, get up with the intention to make good choices. And uh, thinking ahead is really helpful, switch sides. Like if you know you're going out to a restaurant to eat, mentally plan ahead what you're gonna have. Like I know, if it's maybe a special occasion, I want to have whatever I want, I'm going to order it, but I'll eat half of it. I'll eat in moder uh, moderation. I'll eat portion control. I'll practice that because I hate feeling full anyway. I don't ever like that really stuffed full feeling. So hands behind the back, stretch the chest. But if I'm going out a couple times a week, I'll make a conscious choice to have order water and have a really yummy chicken salad with the dressing on the side, right? So. It's choices you make and thinking ahead for the choices that you're gonna make to, so that you make good ones, healthy ones, to help you reach your goals in the end, right? That's important too. All right, so yes, I was gonna list the thousand rep challenge right here and here's that 50 minute weight and cardio one that Lauren had referred to. Try those, let me know what you think about those workouts in the comments below. And as always, move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. See ya in the next video. We're gonna do an alternating front lunge with a bicep curl, nah, Shania Twain, seriously? Ah!